just <clears throat> just past 11 a.m. here on a Easter Monday bank holiday. Have you heard? The banks, <laughs> the banks are shut today. Apparently, bank holiday. Well, I suppose it's. Well, you can still do online banking. I, I don't do online banking. I keep my finances tight. Tight. I don't trust. Don't trust the digital modern online age. What? Share my bank details with this device. No bloody way. Jose. Jose. Yeah, it's been miserable today. It's been off and on showers. April showers. Ah. April showers of shit to Tory Mullet. Who is this bloody Tory MP caught naked in a brothel, eh? I want to know. I want to know now. Give me his name. Or her name. Um, oh, I'm not going to mention any names. As I said yesterday, I'll have a bloody knock on the door again. It's all hot enough. Many parts of England are having their council elections in a few weeks. Uh, first Thursday in May, I believe. And the Tory has started to play the games. I, uh, whether you uh, go on to political bent sites on YouTube, you can see the bloody paid Tory moles commenting on there. And the main theme is the key stammer, you know, the naughty guy that they get working at home. This the key stammer or Sir Keith, as they call him. I call him Sir Keith. You've got to talk him code words here, Howard, says James McCann. <clears throat> the main bullet bulletin on the top of it. Whatever you do, this Think of anything that this Sakia Starmer and anyone else in the Tory front branch. And you can see these comments, and they're so see through, more see through than a glass house full of red tomatoes in late August. It's bloody obvious that they're being paid to uh, post. You know, they're worse than Russians. <laughs> The Tories. Uh, what's your job then? Oh, I am an online influencer. Oh, yeah. You bad bastard. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Oh, God, I'm up to almost four minutes again. Red, four minutes. Have a good Monday, all. And um, take your brawly with you when you go out. It's warmish. Warmish. <coughs> with April showers. That's the weather report for me.